All right, I'm going to go over, um, I guess, precision approaches or approaches to an area or to a hover or to the ground. Um, they're actually, it's real simple. Um, uh, what you're going to do is, when you're coming in and you're, you want to shoot an approach to an area, you're coming in and instead of, of you know, come in and trying to get to a hover, all you're really going to do is you're going to level out the airplane, uh, reduce the collective. So what that will do is here and reduce, and eventually it's going to take you down to you know zero airspeed or to a hover or whatever you want to do. You might need to apply a little bit of aft uh, cyclic. You know it's not that big of a deal, but you just reduce power. So say in your forward flight and you want to shoot an approach. I'm going to shoot approach to a, a little wood please here, and I'll show you what happens. All right, forward flight, a level off, reduce collective. So I'm already coming down, I'm level, okay? I, I apply a little aft to help me slow down, you know, and I'm shooting, and bam, you're on the ground, all right? So let's go over that again. So you shoot an approach somewhere, and you're already in forward airspeed. Just level it out, reduce collective, and that will reduce your altitude. You can apply a little aft cyclic just to reduce your airspeed, and you just get on that little glide slope. Now you can terminate in a hover. All you gotta do is just, you know, when you get to your point, you pull aft cyclic, and as soon as you get to zero airspeed, you just level out, and then you're in a hover. All right, same difference when you're shoot to the ground. You know, you just approach in, a little bit aft, and you're on. Um, you're pretty much gonna land a level, that's why I say, you know, you can stay at a level attitude and just reduce the collective your forward airspeed will decline to the point that you touch the ground and that might take a little practice to get it to the ground um, I would uh, practice shooting it to a hover to a certain point you want to go to and every time you get there you'll see that you'll get to that same spot and then once you feel real confident that you can get it to a certain spot go ahead and shoot it to the ground and when you shoot it to the ground just kind of like you know get to a hover a forward hover and get lower and lower and lower you finally touch and you'll be down now things to be aware of is the tail here when you come back if you apply too much aft cycle you'll drag that tail and probably hit the tail rotor and you'll probably be done for the day so just level flight you don't really need much aft I mean just a little aft will slow you down a lot and you just shoot that approach right to the ground all right now we're gonna go over D cells um, decelerations is coming in very fast and you want to stop on the dime. Um, so what it really looks like is we're coming in like a shooting approach somewhere but you're shooting into a hover. And you're coming in fast, you apply aft cyclic, reduce collective a lot, maybe zero pitch. And you'll, 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 uh, you'll roll back like this and then uh, as soon as you get to that point that you're about to, you know, drop what they call settling with power. What you want to do is you want to yaw back, or roll back, pitch back, my bad. You want to pitch back, reduce collective, it'll slow you down, and just pitch right back into a hover. So you want to, you're coming in, pitch back, reduce collective, and that will, that will slow you down tremendously. And as soon as you see it kind of drop, it, you just level right out into a hover, okay? As soon as you see it coming to the stop, so it'll come up and then it'll just drop right back into a hover. Now things you want to look forward to, um, what this means is you're not applying or reducing enough collective, is that uh, it'll, it'll balloon up on you. What'll happen is you'll yaw back but it'll balloon up. That means you didn't reduce enough of the uh, collective. So you just want to yaw back, reduce that collective. Now another thing you can do is rotor stopping, is you can pull back and you say you're, you're coming in real hot. You can pull back, reduce collective like a normal D cell, but then you can add thrust. So what that will do is add thrust and it'll pull you back a little faster. So it'll decelerate your, your uh, approach a whole lot faster. But you know, that's not something you wanna do. What you really wanna do is you wanna pull back, reduce the uh, thrust until that point you're gonna stop and you just level off into the hover. Um, so that's pretty much a D cell. Uh, things you want to watch out for is Z cell is you don't want to pull enough back and fall. Um, you want to 
pull back enough uh, to the point. Well, at first, what you're going to do is you're going to pull back and you're going to balloon up. As soon as you balloon up, you know you got to reduce some. So eventually, your balloon will get shorter and shorter until it looks like this. Until it looks like this, and boom, right into a hook. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 